tutorial will add a menu to our PyGTK window. Here we've got our basic GTK code which opens an empty window. So running this you just have an empty window, right? A window title and that's it. So we're going to add a menu similar to the one we see here. Uh, if you're on Windows the menu might appear like right below that and the title here. On the Linux machine you'd see it inside uh, the tile bar. So this is like a menu where you can have options uh, in your program. So GTK has uh, just a, a menu bar built in. So let's use that. So we're going to type menu bar or specify a variable that makes sense to you. So GTK dot menu bar and the menu bar uh, should be added to the screen, right? So these lines will add the menu bar to your screen and now the menu bar would just be empty, right? There is no uh, file menu, edit menu, view menu and so on. So let's create a file menu. So this is this will be the file menu that you'd see right here. And we also need to add a file menu to the to the menu bar. So we can simply say menu bar dot append file. Now if you run this code you'll see we have a window and we have a file menu but file menu doesn't have anything inside. So we can add uh, things to the file menu. For example, we could add, you uh, actually want um, a submenu inside the file menu. So might get a little bit confusing, but hang on there. So we specify a file menu. And a file menu is the menu that you see right here. So everything, every option below a menu. And inside this uh, menu, you probably want to have one or more options. So you could say uh, an open uh, option. So now you have an open uh, button appear in your file menu. So running this, you'll see nothing, and it's because the because there is some error. Um, so we need to add we add the create an open menu, and the open menu is added to the file menu, but file menu is not added to the file menu, right? So we didn't set the sub menu. Um, might be a little bit confusing here, but we. Basically, we create a submenu right here. We add the item, and this item, this submenu, needs to be added to the file menu. So now, if you'd run it, you'd actually see it appear. So that's a little bit confusing with the, the menus. It's like this add to that, that add to this, and so on. Uh, so you can go on and add other options. So, for example, we could add an option uh, coffee to the file menu. And we're going to add that. Now you'd see that uh, if you run this, you have another uh, option in the sub menu, right? But pressing it doesn't do anything. So to make it do something, uh, you, you need to connect it to a function. So you can simply say the connect function that you've used for buttons, but instead of uh, the button press event, it's an activate uh, event. So just tap activate and connect it with your function. So the function doesn't exist yet. And we're going to create it. So now we have our uh, function right there. And if you press it, it calls the function, right? So every time you press it, the function is called. 
So that's basically a GTK menu. And you can add more uh, menus in the same style. So for example, you could have an edit menu. And obviously you need to add edit menu to the main menu. And then you would add a um, sub menu to the edit menu and the options. So running this and you'll see two menu, two uh, options, file and edit. And this one doesn't have a sub menu like we specified for the file menu.